All right, happy Monday morning for everybody, I guess. Um, <clears throat> up here in Pocomoke again, and uh, the birds are birds are chirping. Um, hope everybody had a fantastic Monday. Uh, so, I mean, uh, Mother's Day. And uh, what we are, uh, this town, um, some of these neighborhoods very much like uh, Denton have these alleys that are technically uh, road. They're just public roads. They have, um, in Denton, they're like alley one, alley two, alley three. They just have, they, have, they actually do have addresses. Uh, so instead of busting up the concrete and the road and stuff, we opted to go back uh, here in these alleyways. Um, so, hi. Um, that's the customer with the fence here. This is the back of their house. Um, so we actually came up behind um, because it was more economical uh, for a bunch of different reasons. And um, for continuity purposes, I'll show you where we're going. <coughs> um, so if you look in the last two or three videos, you'll basically see where we're at once I get to this road here. And uh, really nice weather today, I love it. What does this say? It's the redneck weather rope. If the rope is wet, rain. If it's moving, it's windy. If it's hot, it's sunny. If it's cool, it's cloudy. If it's stiff, it's cold. If it's gone, take shelter. <laughs> uh oh, oh, that's that's pretty funny. I haven't seen that one before. Um, I think there's all our birds. <clears throat> so, what you'll see at the end of this, there's no. Sp I'm just uh, that's a mid-span entry in case anybody ever. Um, and then that right there corner is where we were set up to do our 32 so I got a 32 a splitter right there um, uh, on that side of the street and they drilled this alley <coughs> excuse me and as you see the alley the alley shot actually goes um, both directions so so we're doing this right here and then we're doing this guy right here that car stopped for me like I was taking some important video <laughs> picture or something <clears throat> so all right well we'll go ahead and let's get started um nice uh nice weather though i'm not even gonna set the tent up this is gorgeous <clears throat> this is our new vault uh and i like it just visually um it looks like you assemble it yourself and it is plastic of sorts. Yeah, I'm really happy about doing this. <clears throat> Looks like there's going to be a ton of space inside of it. And this is just our temps. When we hook up a house, we need a place to run and drop. That's cool. <clears throat> All right. Well, uh, today um, we are going to be doing something kind of funny. Um, you know, this is the old uh, firehouse. This is what the pop is. And I finally got everything all buttoned up in here. Uh, I mean, it's still a mess, but it's a whole lot nicer than what it was. We got all our uh, fiber coming over, laddered. We got my 96, 96, 96, 96. And pretty much this last one will be a 96. Um, and what I've been doing first from a speed point of view uh, because it, I don't know, I, I think apparently I'm not, uh, I'm not working fast enough. The 24s we're doing on a tray and the other 72s, we're basically just leaving them float, uh, for now. And I'm doing that on every, this one's floating too. Um, so we've got that three days of splice in there. Um, and then this right here. Uh, is the second block on the run. I skipped the first block because that's just one dude's house. Uh, we're gonna come back and do that. This uh, number two is fun because old fire station pop is gonna be hooking up the new fire station. Uh, so we're hopefully we're gonna get them get them online today. 
and uh, um, got my splitter shelf uh, populated uh, pretty well. It's pretty much every time we're sanding up a new pond, we're throwing it on a, through the filter to the shelf. And then the, uh, each one of these shelves is coming out into the field with a negative two. Yeah, negative two. Yeah. Um, and it's uh, easier, it's faster to do it this way, uh, especially when we have literally an infinite amount of uh, fibers uh, here at the pot. So. so let's go out in the field and we'll see what that, uh, what that looks like. All right, so uh, here we are at the uh, case that cuts out a lateral to the fire station. The fire station's two blocks uh, that direction. It's two blocks that way, one block up. Uh, so it's a, it's a pretty long lateral, but they brought it all the way back to right here. And uh, uh, yikes, I built this case yesterday, so she's nice and clean for me. Um, and what we'll see here is uh, Defosque. And <clears throat> what we did is we did a mid slit entry, uh, mid span, mid slit on the 96 in the 12 count um, uh, flat drop here is going straight to my customer. This will be my, this will be my fourth fire department uh, installation, I think. Uh, so what we're going to do, uh, this is the first customer, we're doing this like, uh, this is like the first build through. Just like always, we're gonna do a, um, a one by five, 75% unbalanced splitter. And I'm gonna take one of those taps off and we're gonna hook this uh, customer up right quick. Um, I went over there, there's nobody there. Uh, so we'll figure out um, that just in a little bit. All right, so uh, just spoke to the customer and uh, he, is the like head guy at the fire department, I guess. But um, he, uh, I guess we're actually hooking up his house, which is down the street here, um, which unfortunately I'm not gonna get to until next week. But uh, I will have him, uh, I have him on, I'll have the fire department on first, um, just because it's how I've, how I've thought about it. So what we got here, um, it's a little damn windy today, shit. Oh God, it's frustrating. Shit just blowing everywhere, man. Um, so, we've got our 96 mid, uh, mid, mid slit entry. We landed on this tray. Um, these are the uh, 11 in the blue tube that we chose not to, to use here. This is gonna be orange on this block. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring, uh, I'm gonna take these two oranges and we'll bring them up to the next tray. Then on this tray, I'm going to be putting a uh, one by five, 75 percent unbalanced splitter. I'm going to send all my power up, up the block that direction, and I'm going to hook up my customer that direction. I'm going to leave three taps behind, so uh, just so we can kind of get all into it. I do. It looks like I think I will need to attach this to the table because it's oh man, it's pretty fucking. It's pretty. It's pretty windy. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and we'll get into it. So, it's windier than shit. And I got people from the office asking me all kinds of stupid ass questions. But, whew, I'm just like, I'm, so, I'm not having a great day today. I haven't actually had a great day in a couple, in a, in a long time. But... It's so fucking windy, dude. It took me so long to get this mid span back in. Like, all my all my shit's on the floor over there. Um, but uh, what we got here, we've got our uh, unbalanced splitter spliced in up and down. Down's going that way, ups back to the pop. Um, we did remove this uh, tray because it was just easier. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to button that back up and, uh, I don't know. 
I don't know what I'm going to do. Hopefully make better decisions in life. All right, here we are. They had us a nice table all set up. Here's my box. Um, pretty straightforward. I want to go over that, though. It looks like they got some type of fiber already in here, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we'll just go ahead and we'll get them uh, rocking and rolling. Here's my device. Cool. Alright, so um, we got that uh, fire department there hooked up, I guess. And uh, we got um, money on, I guess. I don't know. We'll see it when we get there. But uh, it looks like there was some drunk, drunk college kids. I don't know. It looks bad from the picture. So it wasn't a car that hit the box, but. Um, it's probably um, just just drunk. Uh, it happened on March 17th, apparently. We checked the device, but then there was nobody in the uh, in this particular unit um, where the damage was, so nobody knew to complain uh, because it was a, a college rental. College was out, so nobody. But now people moved in, and, and uh, let's we'll see. Uh, it's missing a let's just say it's missing a lot of parts. So we'll uh, be there about 10 minutes All right, uh, this is probably uh, Two years ago if you went back and looked at um, this build I uh, video I videoed the whole thing we got a uh, We got a Comscope B in that right there. It's got eight flat drops two flat drop adapters and then we trenched right down here. We hooked up every one of these units here, okay? Uh, except this one. Uh, this one here looks like she took a, she got beat the fuck. Nah, she ain't repairable. No, I don't think that's repairable, to be honest with you. What the fuck, dude? I don't even understand what broke here. What? All right, well, um, Phew, boy. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be repairable. I'm going to go ahead. I'll check it for power. But there's not a fix to that. It needs a new flat. It needs a new drop. Hold up in here. But, all right, let me get my... Wow. How did it get that? I don't know. I'm gonna grab my meter and see if I can't do something just to get the customer back on. But this needs a this needs new drops. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. So if you think about how this took a hit, I mean it's missing a major parts. But if you look at one, I mean it it got probably punched. Like, punch? I don't know. I don't know. But let's see if we got power, and then I'll just let the old Kirk know that she needs a new new drop. All right. Well, um, I called the office, and uh, it looks like six eleven. This unit is back online. Uh, literally spliced like a five inch piece uh, from there to there I put tape I super glued the splice tube I super good now nah, that thing I super glued that in and uh, now what I'm gonna probably do is uh, just take this cover and uh, I don't know probably just super glue that thing on too um, that way it's a whole lot less urgent uh, and I'm gonna go knock on their door and let them know that uh, that I just uh, fixed it. I guess I don't know what I just did, but um, they uh, damn this super glue it not doing what I want it to do, huh? I guess I gotta hold it longer. Um, but yeah, yeah, nice uh, nice college student. I mean, if you look at this like this hill, the parking lot's way over there, and. I noticed that somebody else, somebody's kicked this thing, which, I mean, 
they kicked it and cut it. I mean, it kind of takes some balls to do that, I guess, uh, considering you're right next to a high voltage transformer. But I'd say this was punched. It looks like a nice punch right there. Uh huh. But look at that, how that um, took that hit right there and another hit right there. And the fact that it was dangling itself is pretty gnarly. So, uh, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Let me go let the uh, customer know.